Radio Concepts presents another exciting amateur radio video, keeping ham radio operators informed with a thorough look at the new products. Now, here's your host, Eric, KJ4YZI. Hello again, YouTube. Eric with Ham Radio Concepts checking out the MFJ 1835 cobweb antenna. 10, 12, 15, 17, and 20 meters. So it's like uh, five horizontal loops on this, making a cobweb that looks like that design. And five individual square loops. So picture like a, like a fan dipole with horizontal loops adding three to four dB a gain at only nine by nine feet. Uh, 8.2 pounds, can be set up portable, can be set up for field day, can be set up person, uh, per, uh, permanently at the house. So uh, horizontal polarization. So now I got the vertical and I got this for horizontal. Let's check this out. So, so far this thing was pretty self-explanatory and easy. I got the uh, matching box on, on the end. I have the spreaders all tightened down. Uh, I'm gonna start putting the wires on. But it's fairly simple. I'm only in it uh, 35 minutes. This is why it's handy to have the MFJ tripod because it tells you to put it temporarily on a tripod so that you can get the wires and stuff, uh, the spreaders on there. Uh, and it's easy enough right here in front of me to hook these up and get it tuned up slightly before I put it up in the air. See that when you put it on the tripod like this, you do it Lazy Susan style. So you put the wires on, turn it around like this, and do the same thing for all of them. It makes it easier. So up on a tripod, here's pretty much what it looks like. All right, and so I have to do a little bit more of tightening these wires so that they're not flapping in the breeze. So before I put this up and check the SWR, let me show you the little tuning tabs that they have on here. So the tuning tabs are basically to add or subtract length of the wire electrically. So you see here, um, the, the outer element here would be 20 meters, okay, and it was a little high. So I added these tuning tabs, if I can zoom in on that, and you can move the holes on there so that you can get it right where you need it to go. In this situation here, uh, I got it right around uh, 14.230, I think. Um, and see up here though, on 15 meters, I didn't need to use those because it was good. So you have the flexibility of tuning it from the CW portion or the sideband foam portion or like on FM on 10 meters, I could tune it for the FM portion uh, on the 10 meter one, but uh, makes it uh, easy. Now you, you wanna make sure these are tight. I still have a little bit more tightening to do because it's windy outside and in the wind, see they'll, they'll bounce around a little bit and that'll fluctuate the SWR when I'm testing it, so. All right, so without tightening these things yet, the wind is pretty windy out here. It's it's moving the, the wires, but you know, it's fluctuating a little bit. I gotta tighten them up some more. Uh, but you'll see here, 28.4 roughly, 1.0, 1.1. All right, uh, right, I tuned it right there in the uh, sideband portion. And if I go down to 12 meters, 24.930 to 990, so we'll do 950 right there in the center of the band. 1.1, I got it tuned for 1.2, and it's fluctuating a little bit because the wires are bouncing. It's pretty windy out here. Uh, 15 meters to 21.3. 1.1, 20. Oh. Let's see. Yeah, see that one's blowing around up there. Roughly 1.1 1 .1 at 28.346. Uh, then we go to 17 meters. 1.1 1 .1 right in the middle, roughly. That one's not moving at all because that one's pretty tight up there. Yeah, 1 1.3, 1.1 1 .1 to 1. And uh, 20 meters. 14, I got this down right in the middle. 
1.0 to 1 at 14, right in the beginning of the general portion, because I'm a general. So right there, 14.239 is 1.0 to 1. Perfect. Okay, so let's go inside. This is all I have it right here, only about uh, 7 or 8 feet off the ground on the tripod before I mount it uh, permanently. But let's see what this does just at this height. All right, so it looks like we got a contest going this weekend. This thing is picking up all kinds of, of great signals. Let's make a couple contacts. Let's see what we got here. Watch this. I'm going to get this guy one shot. Kilo Juliet 4, Yankee Zulu, India. Kilo Japan 4, Yankee Zulu, India. All right, here we go. One shot. Kilo Japan 4, Yankee Zulu, India. Okay, I am South Florida, licensed 05, 100 watts barefoot QSL. How many contacts have you made in the contest? Uh, this would be number three. Kilo Japan 4, Yankee Zulu, India. Kilo Japan 4, Yankee Zulu, India. All right, so look through this real quick, uh, see what the SWR that my radio reports before I tune around and listen for some contacts. So 10 meters, flat, without no tuner, flat, right in uh, 28.43 or 413. If I go down to uh, 12 meters, flat, no tuner needed. Uh, let's see, we'll go down to 15 meters. Uh, right there at 21.327. Go to uh, 17 meters, right in the middle, flat. Go down to 20 meters, flat. Let's tune around and listen. All right, guys, so let's get a final review here without even having this thing mounted permanently yet. You saw I made a few contacts. It was the contest weekend on 20, so 20 is very busy, but the signals coming in on this thing are booming. And, um, you know, I only have it this high off the ground. I mean, that was that was right there, the, you know, 15 meters, a uh, couple meters, uh, 20 meters, a couple contacts there, contest. I wasn't familiar with the sweepstakes, so I didn't know how to uh, really answer some of those. But 
hey um you know this thing is is a, a workhorse it's really this was a lot easier to set up i i have to say compared to the <laughs> high gain i just did you saw a few days ago but uh I, what i want to do now that i have uh both antennas set up i want to make another video um with the you've seen me do the uh the uh co remote coax switch what was that the ameritron or the high gain remote coax switch uh i want to use that and switch right through back and forth and see what comes in on the vertical on the uh, av680 and then side by side with the cobweb antenna we'll see what uh, the difference in gain is and uh, what it does so thanks for watching i hope you subscribe i hope you like the video i hope you thumbs up and share it check out the facebook website and more on the way 73 from kj4 yzi